This is my last time hosting Greater Boston, so I thought I'd do one final IMHO, and no, I'm still not telling you what the H stands for. These past nearly eight years, it's been me on this side of the camera and you the other. I know what I've cared about, but I wanted to take a minute to look back on what you cared about. So we sorted your emails by the words you use most frequently. In third place, outfit. That mobster look in the middle apparently was a particular hit with many of you. Second place, a tie between finger pointing and handshaking. You're going to shake my hand now. No, do I have to? You have to, yeah. 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 In Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out he was pretty ahead of his time. That was 2015. And in first place, the most emailed phrase, of course, interrupting. Excuse Very me, good. may I say something here? Sure. You invited yeah. me to come on the show. Oh, God, I'm so sorry, I just want to say a couple things. Sure. I you don't get out. a word in with him I never on your it. radio no, show I, I or your television no, show? Or I anything. never do. And she wants to keep doing this till hell freezes over? Then there's the staff you don't see who do everything. I know they'll miss me. In fact, they put together a few things they say they'll most remember about me. Here it is. <laughs> Special President John Envoy for Climate, University of Montana, Montana, for about as long as it takes to say sor storm of the century. Storm of the century. And to be fair, it was 700 pages. You know, uh, uh, the when I think of the, well, let me step back for a second. <laughs> Chocolate hazelnut baklava. Coincidentally, Mr. President, it appears I have that allergy too. The COVID deal. Well, we stayed open, you know. Um, That's hard with limited capacity. As much as we. Wasn't that horrible? Yeah, it was well. Nitrate, neural bar, excuse me, and lid. What does it smell like? It smells like. Uh, I know it and I know it. Cilantro? No. This no, is humiliating. Uh, oh, chalk! No, I'm sorry. Are you serious? It's a popular juice and soda flavor. It's not orange, is it? It's <laughs> grape. Grape. Uh, lemon. Wow, it's leather. Leather, okay. <laughs> Give me a hint for this. Uh, it's edible, it's delicious, it's in a candy, oftentimes. Caramel? Yes! No! no. You got it! Caramel! You it. Caramel! <laughs> think the country is going. Well, why isn't it? But I thought they happen. vote based on their own lives. Well, we're talking well, if they're about not if they're already gambling. I can tell you that I'm for and the Democratic. No, 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 no. What are the Democrats? Well, and if I was going to finish my sentence. Oh, was... Well, that seems to be a recurring theme. Governor Patrick once said on our radio show, Jim Browdy, sometimes wrong, never in doubt. He was right on both counts. But on this, I'm neither wrong nor in doubt. I've gotten to sit across from some of the most interesting, provocative people virtually every night for almost a decade. Senators, governors, activists, relentless journalists, people who make you laugh, people who feed you, many who have suffered, others who have worked to relieve that suffering. I also have no doubt about this. Reporting and analyzing the news is a team sport. I've worked with and for so many good, competent, committed people at a place, GBH, that sets the standard in public media. Most importantly, I have no doubt how lucky I've been to have people like you set aside a part of an occasional evening to spend with me. I've tried to ask questions that I thought you would want answered. I hope I got it right more often than not. So that's it. See you on the radio and who knows, maybe somewhere on TV. Sincere thanks to everybody. And please don't forget Ukraine.